We are back for episode four, back in your ears, back on your iPhone, Android. Hopefully you don't have an Android, but if oh, you do, yeah. I, hey, I don't judge you for having an Android. iPhone save Captain Picard? No, Android did. That's true. Boom. Good point. Trekkie, even though I'm not one. It's fun times. We are here on there and back again on YouTube and the Higher Things website. Uh, thank you for joining us today here for our fourth episode. They still let us do this. Uh, they haven't kicked us out, off quite yet. Pastor Goodman. It'll happen one day. I don't know if uh, Pastor Goodman is actually watching or not. I, I don't know if he I mean, I, I outweigh him by a good 100 pounds, so he's tried throwing me out a couple of times. Yeah. But he gives in about 10 minutes in. I, so I'm, I think you and I are in the same I try. He tries every yeah. time. He grabs the back of the... He tries, and I'm like, yep, yeah, no, not going to happen today. He just Goodman. can't lift us. Not going to so happen today. We are still here uh for your viewing and listening pleasure indeed we are pastor Roll, we have an interesting <laughs> day um yep. ho hopefully we can keep this uh to our our, our self-imposed time limit i think we can uh let's I talk fade. about some music i like music so go ahead no go ahead well so so uh if you, if you all know i'm a tiktok guy i think almost everybody's a tiktok they you're either a TikTok person or you believe that it's China trying to infiltrate our infiltrate. minds. Infiltrate. And, and if lives. they've already infiltrated mine... I have nothing of shame. It's like so. there's that movie, Being John Malkovich, you know? Yep. Try, live up here for a minute. You're going to want to leave quickly. Um, but I was on TikTok and I did a couple of videos this last week and I was planning on doing the one this week, Trends, and my wife um, played me the Gale song A, B, C, D, E, F, U. Yep. And... At, that's not it, how the alphabet works. By that way. is not how the alphabet works. My daughter said, that's not the next letter. So, but as I'm listening to it, I said, you know, it's interesting. Um, there's lots of reactions you can have to this because I said that'd be a neat video to do mm -hmm. something. And we tried earlier today, so we're going to try again later <laughs> to make it happen. We'll give it the old college 18th try. Try to do it. But I said, there's a bunch of reactions you can have to this. One, you hear it, you go, nope. It has the F word in it. Mm -hmm. It has other words in it. Not going to listen to it. I'm disregarding it. Um, I'm a, I won't even listen to the radio version of it. Mm -hmm. You know, I will take it off, which is funny. And that's usually by someone who loves Charlie Daniels, the devil went down to Georgia, which has a curse word at the end of it anyways, which is always yep. fun too. That's fun to remind people about. But he plays the fiddle. He plays the fiddle in his country and that's my country. So it's fine. But it's this pop song, Girl Gail, so, and I don't know and her. It is an exceptionally catchy song. Oh, it's very catchy. Very catchy. I had never heard it before today. And, yeah. Or I had heard it on the TikTok. And now it's just there. But it is, it is embedded there. in my mind. And the thing is, that's how we react to so much music is you disregard it right away either because of the vocabulary or mm -hmm. who sings it. Like, I know some pastors are like, if they hear Elton John or the Queen, or not the Queen, Actually, they were always introduced as Her Majesty Queen. The, yeah. Her yeah. Majesty so, Queen. you know, why? Because Freddie Mercury and Elton John are gay, so therefore we're not going to listen to their music. Well, fine, you can't listen to West Side Story then. Man, that sounded bad. But I don't care. But the thing is, it's like we're going to disregard all this music, but every, every single, then you, you can't listen to any music then. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't listen to any of this stuff then. Ju I'm only going to listen to Lutheran hymnody. Now, on top of that, only good Lutheran hymnody. So I'm going to listen to Luther. I'm going to listen to Gerhard and Nikolai. Yep. And that's about it. Franz been too late for me. Not going to listen to him. <laughs> um, but I don't know anyone who does that. But that, that that's one way to react to it. And I, I don't think that's the healthiest way to react to it. So what then can uh, we and our audience kind of, what kind of ears do we need to have when we listen to these things? What what do we need to look for? When When is too much? What yeah. should we What should we pay attention to? When we chatted about this a little with Travis Scott stuff, right? Mm -hmm. the, the the music he produces, and I think I can't remember what I talked. I, I mentioned some songs, and they're like even if you listen to ACDC, it's like that's considered classic rock. Well, it's yep. classic rock, but when it came out, you have like the band Highway to Hell, and that was controversial. Right. You have uh, Hell's Bells, you know, mm -hmm. all these types of things like people well, playing Megadeth records. And yeah, yeah, you know, um, and all that stuff, and. One, there is some truth of where society's at in this song and how we feel. The point is it's a breakup song, right? Yep. It, it's this girl has been messed over by her man, by her boy, 
her guy. So it's her response to him is not, oh, I'm going to go cry. I'm going to go be sad like the Olivia Rodrigo. You know, I'm going to cry in my room. It, not that type of stuff. No, I'm going to give you the... This is a piece of sign. my mind, yeah. You know, and by the way, don't ever use that in sign language and preaching. Because that is the sign for it, I guess. So that can get really bad. Um, I would almost challenge Chris with that one time. Like, I'm going to just say the middle finger like 20 times, you know. But no. But that's the thing is that's her reaction is I'm going to tell you to go forget yourself. Mm -hmm. You're not bothering me. And that's the reaction is you've wronged me, then wrong everything about you in right. life. So that teaches us where everybody is. That's that's how we all feel. That's how it's not just those people that are secular. That's how we react too. It's how people in church react. Mm -hmm. Why people leave churches sometimes? They'll leave a church. Well, someone wronged me, so forget them. Yep. Um, it's the default uh, way out. Yeah, that's the natural thing yep. sin does. So I mean, I finally mentioned sin, but you can talk about sin without having to actually. It's a theological, biblical word, mm -hmm. but no one knows what it is. But we just define what it is. Sin is that that base reaction to being wronged. And we react with hatred and anger and frustration. Right. So, but it's catchy. So when anger is catchy, it's okay. Well, and I think too, a lot of it is, it's, it's catchy and it allows us to, you listen to it and then you think back to the time that happened to you or you yeah. think back to the time. So those catchy songs then become... Outlets and like going back to the Travis Scott stuff, oh, yeah. which is still, a, I mean, that situation that we talked about weeks ago now is still unfolding and it's yeah. still very unfortunate. Um, but ultimately that music, how, how angsty and angry it is. And that's, I mean, that's an outlet for people. Yeah. And, and I mean, I think the Gale song, or if you look at other songs in this similar vein, like Justin Bieber came out with, uh, a song a few years ago. Oh like, yeah, yeah. And CeeLo Green. You, you know should what I mean? go and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You should go and that, yourself. that became that was on Sesame Street. Even. Yeah. I mean, CeeLo Green. That was uh, they were all singing "Forget You." A Big Bird up there singing "Forget You." You know, yep. it's like this is nuts. Yeah, but I mean, and it, it becomes that vehicle for emotion and that way yeah. for people to express themselves. Right. And it's. I mean, I guess that it. it that's the way. As a whole, I think people without the church and getting back to that, people without the church, that's the only way they can express themselves. Right. So how do we as the children of God express ourselves then, I guess? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Can't just bottle it up and act like it doesn't upset you. Yep. Well, I live in... For, don't, don't, a surface pi piety does not please the Lord. Right. He knows the heart. He knows how angry mm -hmm. you are about something. Yep. You may be hiding it because you know what happens if you blow up about it. You yeah, you, you understand you, you understand the repercussions probably a little bit better. Yeah. As a child, you know. Or you're more afraid of the repercussions. That's the big thing. You're afraid yeah. of what you'll lose. Is this is this worth it mm -hmm. if I lose all this? Most of the time we say, well, no, it's not. I'll just be angry. Yep. And that's how you get like uh ulcers. <laughs> yep. That's how you get going to church and there's no joy. You literally go to church and you're just mad the whole time. Mm -hmm. Because you haven't dealt with your anger in a way that allows it to die, to be forgotten. So who can we go see to just let it all out? I mean, who's, who's, who can you literally vent to completely, confess it completely? Yeah. Blow well, I mean, completely? that's, I mean, that's the, the role of the pastor. That's the right. office of the keys. That's private yeah. confession, absolution, yep. right? Like if you had that's this, what it's for. Yep. yeah, you have all this, you can come to me and literally just lay it all out there. Yeah. I've had people when they get, now I'm not, I'm, News, I'm not revealing what's being confessed to me. I'm revealing the nature. Meaning, I've had people crying. I've had people yelling. I've had people literally just say a couple words. But I've had people just like literally just angry, yelling, and just it, yep. literally just getting it out there. I tell people all the time, vent to me, vent to your pastor. Because I can't tell anybody about it. Your, yep. your reputation will not be ruined when you vent and do it with me. Yeah. It, it stays here and it yep. goes to die because... I then guide you to how we deal with that. Because you can live your whole life with F you. Your whole life you can. Yep, you can wake up, sing the song every single yeah, morning. This is my theme song. Yep. Never mind everybody else. I've been wrong. This is where I'm at. And there's no joy in that whatsoever. And that's that's where a lot of people are because they just, it, outside of church, that's how you deal with it. Inside of church, you deal with it with a, I'm not going to, it doesn't bother me. I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm just going to forgive because that's what Jesus does. 
Well, no, G Jesus is Jesus. You're not Jesus. Yeah, we're little Christ, but we fail at it wonderfully every mm -hmm. single day. We're called to confess our sin and be forgiven of it. And that's what we abide in is that forgiveness then. Because only inventing it out and knowing that Jesus still loves me, even though I'm angry about something, furious about something, that then sets me free to deal with my neighbor who has sinned against mm -hmm. me, who has caused that hurt. that and, and it real hurt. I mean, being broken up with isn't fun. You know? Yep. And only someone who's actually gone through it. Like, I, I met one person, they dated one person in their life. I'm like, well, you have no clue what the, the gut-wrenching heartache is of someone dumping you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's pretty I mean yep. you can't really describe it. there's there's a sadness followed by an anger followed by sad. it's like this bad gumbo that's been sitting on the counter for five days not heated up it, it, it's it's just nasty and that's the reality and what does that nasty effect do to you it creates just stews yeah that only, bad gumbo is a bad stewing yeah and the only person who can heal it is Christ himself so we listen to these songs one they are catchy Two, they, they kind of maybe let me know a little more what I'm going through and feeling as well. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep. Give me, gives me some of the vocabulary to use. For sure. For yeah, she's not the only person experiencing these emotions. Yeah. So, so don't disregard it. Don't try to sanctify it either. Have you ever heard of this, redeeming songs? No, no I have not. A, this is a big thing uh, like mega churches do. They'll do, redeem a song. Oh, so they can they'll turn take, it into the contemporary... They'll take, like, a secular song, and they will, like, my favorite was, like, uh, when Hanson came out, and Hanson was pretty... Mbop. Yeah, if you want to know what Hanson is, go on Wikipedia. They had long hair, now they have short hair and families. Um, I liked Hanson then. I like Hanson now. They're actually very talented. Um, that'd be another one. Yes, love. But, like, when Mbop came out, I remember they did... Mbop and like contemporary songs and stuff and or uh what's when um i'm not gonna lie i'm glad i did not know what this was yeah and then um when uh, uh greatest showman came out oh yes this is me was okay. huge yeah. with this they they changed a couple little words and they made it they claimed it for Just jesus to sanctify it i'm gonna claim more. all the movies and all the stuff for jesus because hmm. if we can't claim it then he can't re he can't bring it unto himself unto eternity and it's like you know, we learn from things, like uh, Augustine himself said, because there is the truth who is Christ, there is truth in everything, which means when you see something that is true, it's a blessing from God. Yep. So, I don't know, it's it's a, a tough one with that, but the redeeming songs is funny. So we don't try to redeem everything, then, okay, now I've redeemed it, now I can watch it, now I can listen to it. Because then you're going to be just doing that on everything. Every single thing you want, you consume. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can justify this. No, mm -hmm. don't justify it. Repent of it. Yeah, I like this song. Yes, it's catchy. Yes, I listened to it. And it explained how I was feeling at that time. Yep. And I exactly. regret how I felt. I regret this feeling. Christ, yep. take it from me. Yeah, I've repented of that feeling. Yeah, and that's the reality. Yeah. And that's where you leave it. So, Good it's stuff. fun times, Good man. Good stuff. I like it. But it is, it's an interesting, um, and the point of the TikTok, hopefully the TikTok will be coming out soon, is when you hear, and I, this is it's not a redeeming, but it's a, a reality of where we're at. If I say, what's the F word? We all know what it is. We don't say faith and forgiveness. We say yep. this. And it's like, well, maybe that's what the church needs to be better at doing, is actually forgiving each other and loving each other so that does become a word that just permeates through society. Whereas right now, it's better to just remain angry at people. Mm -hmm. So, And here's the kick thing. If you hear someone not like this song, but then it, they're okay with saying, let's go Brandon... That's a problem, too. Right. That, yet again, comes to sanitizing things. You think one yep. thing's fine. It's just a euphemism. Yeah. Yep. That's all it is. So, it's fun times, man. Fun times. I like that. It is indeed. I like it. All right. I like That's it. That's episode four of There and Back Again. Join us next week. Uh, we'll find, who knows, we'll find something fun something to talk about. Something will happen. We'll talk about it. All right. See you then. Peace.